Good evening. It's May 3rd. I'm live. I don't know if I've actually done a live video before. Last time it kind of didn't work out. But um, my name's Bola, and I'm just going to have a quick discussion about something I've been reading. Um, my partner gave me this book, The Dynamic Laws of Prosperity. Look at this old book by Catherine Ponder. I think it was written in the 1960, 1960s, something. Definitely has this like flair of Christian, um, religious stuff, but definitely a good book. I suggest everyone, I mean, I probably even don't do it much, but just reading this chapter um, that really got me thinking about law of attraction, how we bring more things into our life, and in order for us to give um, and get that sort of thing, you know, we have to give to get. And there are some points she made that kind of just got me thinking about even my work just having been in the inner city. Um, and mind you, <laughs> just coming from a woman in the 1960s who I'm going to assume was quite connected with a like a church and had a lot of um, privilege that way. But it got me thinking about a lot of the clients and people that I've worked with and just people in general in life. You know, we always are expecting handouts. We, um, people think they should just get, maybe their life's been hard, they should just receive something. But in this sense, that, um, she's talking about this law um, related to a vacuum and that the universe does not like a vacuum. The universe doesn't want something empty. And so anytime you give something out, they let something go, especially something that's like old, like an old pattern, old belief system, some old material item, once you give that away, then the universe will give you something in return, usually something be better than what it was that you gave away, right? Uh, something related to that. So um, I know in my life right now, there's lots of things that I'm holding on to out of either fear that I'm not sure that I'd be successful at doing this or um, do I really want to let it go, which she gives some examples in the book too of like um, her getting close to her, a sister of hers and that when she gave these clothes she was hoping something would come back but she actually didn't really release it and so what happened there was she was still holding on. In fact, there was no truly, like no true release of that item. In her mind, she was still just like um, hoping, you know, for this old. So until she actually stood there and told herself some and affirmations um, and released those items, then down the road, she was able to get some new clothes. So I kind of like just here to propose, maybe that's something that you need to do in your life Maybe you have a bunch of old clothes in your closet, or you have some old item, or you're holding on to property that you're feeling you're kind of not sure, but you have this inkling that you should just release it, but you're like, well, maybe, you know. Just remember that once you release something, the universe is going to want to fill that space, right? And so you're giving that chance for it to give you what you truly desire, right? That improved new item. Um, or that new thought pattern even, right? Once we release old thought patterns, then we can get new ones. So um, one thing she kind of ties in with all of this is the, the whole concept of forgiveness. Um, same kind of thing when you, maybe something happens between you and someone else, or you've done something in some past event and you can't really forgive yourself, right? And I was just like looking up word, the word forgiveness, um, and it's kind of changed from from what I could read. The Latin for root word was perdonare. I'd write this down because, yeah. Um, and that meaning is to give completely without reservation. It seems redundant, but to just give completely, right? Saying to give up, to allow um, is what it was switched to you know, in Old English. Basically, that perdonaire is where we get the word pardon in English, right? Or like in the justice and judicial system, right? Anyway, 
But in order for us to sometimes move forward, especially in, when it comes to health, she was talking about, maybe we have something going on and we get sick. Uh, a lot of times if we really like look into the root cause of the, you know, that sickness, it's maybe because of some conflict we've had with someone and maybe just really trying to ignore that that's the case. So what she's saying is you need to do some type of forgiveness work and forgive yourself, forgive the person, release them, right? Allow that to go and then the health will come. Same kind of concept in terms of this vacuum. So um, there's lots of different like meditations, things like that. Um, you can pray. If you just need to sit quietly for like half an hour, not even just feel into your body and like get an idea and ask yourself, ask like the divine to show you, okay, where is this coming from? Where is this like sickness or this feeling or inner conflict, whatever it might be? Where is that coming from, right? Um, why is it that I'm holding on to this? And then just ask yourself to like or allow yourself to forgive it, right? Allow yourself to move forward from that. And from there, you'll see things start to move more in your life and you'll really suck this and otherwise you're holding on to them. And I'm not saying, you know, maybe someone's done something really, really bad. I'm not saying like necessarily that the action that was taken is the best thing and that you should just be like, oh yeah, whatever. But, you know, you still need to protect yourself and trust that if you release that, you know, it was a lesson learned. Maybe there's things that, um, you picked up on because of that conflict that came up or that incident, right? That you didn't really trust your gut. Now you know, okay, well, last time this happened, I'm going to, you know, release that trust that I won't make that mistake again, right? And move forward. Um, so, yeah, that's basically that. I definitely say this book, everyone should look into. I, I just kind of just looking online at more of this um, vacuum law of prosperity. And uh, I, I honestly have never really heard of it before. So um, and I feel like I like to read about a lot of these things. So look into it, do, do a YouTube search or whatever, but just remember that everything that we're a magnet, right? Like, like attracts like, and so that's the basis of law of attraction. And the more that you are willing to release old things and accept that new things will come, then those new things will come to you, whatever that may be. So. Yeah. Anyways, thank you for listening and I will sign off for now because it's late and I should go to bed. So have a good night.